think the government is crazy. Let's put it that way. This is the eighth budget and, and it's killing the people and it has to stop. They're not the right policies. It's been announced that there could be expectation of 100 million in cuts. The situation is in schools, they simply cannot take any more cuts at this stage. Teachers, staff, parents all can't take any more and we're simply here to make our voices heard. We're all fed up for all this austerity cutbacks. Well, there's people out there that are starving. To support all the humans and all the people that are affected by the cuts that the government have put out. Trades Council are organising this as an ongoing programme of protests against austerity and the cuts. We will continue to do so until the government changes their policy. It's just all over Europe, austerity is not working. Because we're fighting back against the unfair austerity because they're hitting vulnerable people, so this is our chance to show the government we're not going to sit down anymore. For Francis Fitzgerald, austerity kills, it's killing people on disability. Joan Borton, it's killing people on social welfare. Come out and meet us and we let you know what's happening on the ground. Burton, Burton, give us a raise! We're fighting for a living wage! Burton, Burton, give us a raise! We're fighting for a living wage! I'm out marching for a fair budget. People have had enough of it. We're into the sixth year of austerity and it's just too much. We've got the signs in one struggle and we think that the austerity is wrong and the cuts that are being done to local communities are have the same implications that they have for communities all over the world. And also just to join in solidarity with people locally, which is really important. In solidarity with all of the other uh, organisations and community groups to give a very clear message to the government that austerity is not working. In fact, it's only uh, inflicting huge hardship and poverty on people who are, who are already struggling to make ends meet. A mood has spread of complete distrust in the government, a feeling that they don't care about ordinary working people and about taxpayers. And we really feel that this is our only option at the moment. If you're on an industrial wage, you're paying nearly 50% of um, between universal social charge and all the other taxes that have come in. And I'm furious. And this budget is yet another austerity budget. I'm here because I think uh, people need to stand up against austerity and to support an alternative approach, one that's fairer and that will actually work, unlike what's happening at the moment. For the first time now, they've done away with zero hour contracts. For the first time, they have guaranteed income. And for the first time, they put a halt on the privatisation of this vital services. <laughs> this is what these ordinary women have done extraordinary things. And it they, and they teaches a lesson. And the lesson is when workers organise, they win. Why this government is directly attacking people with a disability and their families, they're also attacking the people who are delivering vital public services. So it's important for people with a disability, for families and children with disabilities, that they work together with the people who are delivering vital public services. And that's why unity and solidarity is more important now than ever.